Thank you very much to all the members of the panel and to the members of the community that came out. I know it's been a long day already and a difficult day, and uh, your continued attention and participation is really very much, very much appreciated. Okay. If the problems are so obvious, so why don't we get it? Denial is one of the great defense mechanisms for individuals and for communities. You know, we like to think of our community as, uh, as amazing. As the Pasuk says with regard to Avram Avinu and his family, Vishamru Darach Hashem La'asos Tzedaka Umishpat. We're a good community with good values. Rachmanim Baishanim Begamlei Chasadim. Nice people, generous people, and compassionate people. These are the stereotypes of our community, very often true. These are the stereotypes of a community and the vision to which we aspire of what we'd like to be. And there are many noble values in halacha and in hashkafa that support this vision. Loving our neighbors as ourselves. The way we look at each other and treat each other and refrain from judging each other. So we are not choshed b'chsherim. We don't cast aspersions and assume someone's guilty. Dan l'chavzchus, we give others the benefit of the doubt. Kibbut aim honoring parents and elders is extremely important. And quote harav, respect to rabbis, to teachers, and to rebbes. And all of these and many more are wonderful and important resources for creating the good society, godly society, the Kiddush Hashem that we like to live. But these resources, improperly understood and careless, carelessly applied, are not resources at all, but they're rather roadblocks. They're sources of hurt for innocent children. They're sources of blindness for the members of our community. And rather than creating the Kiddush Hashem, the godly society, they perpetuate a Chidl Hashem, a society in which God is not present, and we harm the very most important members of that community. All in the name of Torah, says the prophet Hosea, Ki Yesharim Darche Hashem, V'tzadikim Yelchu Bam Ufoshim Yikashlu Bam. God's Torah. Yesharim darche Hashem, God's mitzvos, his words are yashar, they're straight and they're good. When Sadiqim apply them properly, the path is straight. But when Rishayim take advantage of them, then they're causes of great stumbling blocks. And so halachas are misapplied. You heard before the importance of reporting, and we heard of the opposition to that reporting, being called a Moser, turning a fellow Jew into the non-Jewish authorities. Don't have the time to elaborate on all of these issues now, but in many conversations I've had with Rob Schwartz, he hasn't, and I can quote you, uh, that it is an obligation to report, and one does not violate the prohibition of our chaos or misira by making such a report. I've heard the same in conversations with Rav Herschel Schechter, with Rav David Cohen, we have documentation from Rav Yashuv and from Rav, uh, Rav Shlomo Zaman Arbach and from the Tzitz Elias, Rav, Rav Voldenberg, and so many other Gedolei Aposkim that Mesira is not a problem. And so if somebody is supposing that it is, Barashayim Yikash Lubam, there Megala Panim Batara Shaloka Halacha. There is no prohibition of speaking Lashon Hara when you have a molester, a pedophile, to reveal to the community or to share information with, with a teacher or a, with, a, with a trusted teacher who can help or a parent who can help or a healthcare professional, a therapist or the police that can help. The Chafetz Chaim says explicitly that although we are not permitted to speak in negative fashion about anyone, but when it's Lato Ellis, when there's something positive to be gained by it, then there's an obligation to speak out. There's an obligation to speak out. These are the words of the Nitziv himself in his commentary in Haimek Dovar on the Pasuk of uh, the juxtaposition between two verses and two clauses in the verse. One is, Lo Selech Racha Ba'amecha, don't speak Lashon Hara. 
And that comes just next to Lotam or Odam Rayecha, don't stand by the blood of your brother. That if, in, if you remain silent, that will cause you to be a bystander that does not help someone who needs help, then you violate the prohibition in the Torah of Lotsa'amod. The prohibition of Lashon Hara does not apply in that particular case. And there's much more that can be said and needs to be said. The time doesn't permit me to do that.